Hey there, lads and lasses. This here is, of course, Thunderhand64 coming at you live right there uh, from the west coast of the United States here on a Friday morning. It is a little bit past 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and that can only mean that it's time for some Buffoon Craft SMP. <laughs> ah. So uh, right off the bat, let's welcome in uh, Cheska's genie and the mighty uh, Greener Canuck. And of course, Greener, I have to up update your shout out. So we'll have to do the old manual shout out right now. I think that'll do it, right? There we go. <laughs> of course, um, uh, Cheska's our, our fellow uh, buffoon community server VIP and uh, the mighty Greener Canuck, our fellow buffoon. Shame we didn't uh, pre-plan the weeks. Don't know about season five, but of course the VIP server has the Easter event going. I found like 21 of the 200 eggs. Okay, so for those of you who might not be in the know, Although it's kind of hard to believe at this point because we've been running this for quite some time now. 71. 71. Okay. So we have uh, both the uh, Buffoon Craft uh, Season 5 server with the Buffoon members, but we also have the Buffoon Craft Community VIP server with the Buffoon VIP. So where we uh, whitelist uh, viewers and uh, we, we interact with them on our community server, and it is 
It is so much fun. So uh, right now on the community server, we have an Easter egg hunt event uh, for Easter Sunday, which is coming up this weekend. And um, yeah, so I alternate my Friday buffoon craft streams between um, the season five server and the community server. And I guess I could have planned that a little bit better. I'm on the season five server right now. Uh, so that's up in the rotation. But, you know, I will be in for the other uh, Buffoon VIP streams and stuff uh, throughout the weekend. And I'll make sure that I drop by so uh, at least my viewers can check that out. So, And, of course, we can raid out, too. We can, we can always make sure that we raid out to the VIPs so uh, we can bring uh, all of our viewers over there. So, yeah, there is a massive Easter egg hunt going on. Evidently, there are now I got the notification that the server has been updated. Um, the community server has been updated with the Easter egg hunt modifications. But other than that, I haven't really known anything about it. So there's there's so Jeannie's saying there's 200 eggs and she's found 71 of them. Shelves is winning so far. She is a beast at finding them. Oh, God. Uh. Let, let's switch over to the display scene. Let's do this. Here we are. Apparently, you get an extra bonus prize for finding all 200. So here we are on the roof of the nether of the Season 5 server. And what have we here? You guys can see that the Guardian Farm is there looming in the background. But then there's uh, there are some new features. So this is something I've been meaning to do for a while. And Nova kind of beat me to the punch on the community server and set up the uh, COD trade. Um, I think I traded out all the COD already. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. There's still some to go. Uh, on the community server, but we were having a problem with the Guardian Farm in that uh, when I set up this super fast uh, high power collection system, I never put an overflow on it. And so we were getting totally clogged with COD. Uh, we're not so much right now, but uh, earlier uh, in the last month or so. Uh, so I came over here and just set up a temporary redstone incinerator just to siphon off all of the cod and incinerate it but then Kachi and I got to thinking well instead of incinerating all the cod we should we should be selling it for emeralds <laughs> and so um yeah now Nova thought of the same thing and he set that up on the community server but I was like ah you know we need to we need to set this up on the season five server so I just rushed out here and uh transported these guys into the nether got them set up for the cod trade and uh have been doing quite well with that actually um even without converting them you guys can see that uh, you can get quite a few emeralds right off the bat with these guys You could see you could do multiple trades before they lock out. And it gets it disposes of the cod at the same time. Gives us plenty of emeralds in return for the trading hall. It's just a win-win all the way around. <laughs> uh, I don't think I have any more cod over here. Here. I don't think I do. But if you AFK at the Guardian Farm uh, for not even an hour, uh, these these double chests will be all filled with cod. <laughs> and the mighty flying villager! Cod with clog? No, clogged with cod. If you did cur cure them, they'd be really efficient. Funny you should mention that, because that's what I plan to do. So we need to set up a trident chucking drown who will wheel out here and park his little booty right about here, do his trident bit here and convert these guys, and then uh, behave accordingly and park back into his little hut. 
That's what I was going to do. Now, I have an extra trident chucking drown over here. As it so happens, when I made the trident chucking ghast farm, I brought along an extra drown just in case something untoward happened to some of our friends here. And so I parked him in the bottom here. Uh, I could use him. Also, I remember there are portable monitors for laptops, so I got one so I don't have to use my phone for things. You know, that was me when I first started streaming. I, I wasn't using my phone, but I was using the iPad as my extra monitor. And, you know, it got us by for quite some time, but it was a pain in the butt. I, I do feel for you there, uh, Flying. Uh, one of the problems with the, one of the main problems with the, using the iPad was no matter how I got around, uh, tried to work around it, there was always a very significant delay uh, and that caused a lot of problems. <laughs> also, I get also a great opportunity to buy another Nerf gun. Since it's six bucks. Okay. <laughs> Kachi and, and Biggie and everybody have so many Nerf guns. Uh, Kachi and Biggie and everybody. No, Kachi and Biggie have so many different Nerf guns that are all just in storage and stuff that they've been using since their childhood. Okay. <laughs> so, you, sir. So, I'm wondering if I should just use this guy, wheel him over. And then just, just wheel him back here. I mean, I, I only need to convert him once. Maybe some others on the server might want to convert them over as well. Uh, but I kind of like the idea of having an extra dude over here. So I don't know if I should just bring another drown in. Besides, transporting these, these drowns uh, makes for good watching because it's funny. So... <laughs> And the mighty, the one and only, Pleasant Player! How are you doing today? I hope you are doing pleasant. I am doing pleasant, and much more so now, since you've dropped by. Pleasant, how are you doing? Are you, are you on spring break right now? Uh, Kachi's spring break has started, uh, uh, starts on Monday. So Kachi has a shorter day today. He's got early release today. And uh, then we pick him up, and then we have Kachi for a week. <laughs> and he is so looking forward to that. Uh, we're, we're only a little disappointed uh, because uh, Kachi's spring break did not coincide with Biggie's spring break from university. And so that would have been cool. We could have had a, plan, a trip planned and stuff like that. But uh, uh, they're, they're out of phase by about two weeks. So, <laughs> so Biggie's already back up to his... Uh, university and um, but you know uh, we uh, Kachi's on spring break so uh, let me see flying villager yeah I used uh, the tablet thing too for a while and it's just as painful as I remember yes I feel bad for people in chat who don't get a response for like 10 minutes because I don't see it on my phone yeah that that was the deal that was the deal with the uh, with the iPad in fact, Pleasant Player probably remembers those uh, they, ah, those days. And then Pleasant says, I am, unfortunately, I've been sick for the last week and have been inside all day, but we make it work. <sighs> I mean, how much does that suck? Sick on your spring break? Dude, I'm so sorry to hear that. At least you're not sick and still going into class each day. So, all right. So, uh, what I'm thinking is, do I bring that guy over and use him here, or do I bring a, another drown from the overworld here? And these guys have their own drown, and I keep a spare over there. The Scotsman in me says I keep the spare over there. Uh, it's, I think it's just good practice, but either way, no matter which drown I'm going to use, I need to b 
build a little hut for him over here, and then I'm going to need to uh, make the track here. Um, now, one of the things I'm thinking is, uh, and I hadn't worked this out yet, was to have him come out of his little hut over here, park himself right here, chuck his tridents, and then go back in the hut. Uh, the only thing I don't like is right here. That means right here there's going to be a block and a track and stuff like that. So, uh, so let me see. Uh, pleasant player with the uh, Kachi left redeem. I know I had so many plans, but unfortunately they never worked out. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry to hear that. And then Flying Villager. Nah, you only need the one uh, time to use, uh, so wheel him back. Uh, well, that's what I'm thinking, but I'm thinking some other people on the server might also, might, unlikely, but might want to convert these guys over to do the card trade themselves. Uh, so we having them wheel the guy over here and, it, you know... I was thinking, you know, if I if I have a separate one here, a dedicated drowned right here, uh, everybody can uh, then use him as they please. Um, but also, uh, if I don't do this and I use that guy over there and just wheel him over here the one time, uh, then I don't have to deal with this and I can leave this nice and open. I don't want to place a block and, and stuff right here in the middle. I like this being nice and open here. Uh, the other thing I can do is have him... I have another block here and just have him going back and forth like this. But uh, my experience on the community server is that they travel too fast to stop. Uh, they really do need to stop right here and um, and um, do their thing, right? They need to park themselves, uh, hit the villagers, and then uh, move on, right? So the other thing is uh, him being right here. Uh, I've noticed that uh, when they're chucking the tridents, they can really only get about three of these at a time. And they probably won't be able to hit this fourth guy. So, again, you know, I, I'm not sure how to position this guy. Also, these posts, although these posts look very cool, they might get in the way. They might be in the way. Don, you're right. Forgot it's per player. Yeah. So it's not just a deal of me converting them once and then and then we're good. Going on a lurk for a couple of minutes. Uh, talk to you later. Appreciate the lurk, dude. And, you know, get the rest. You know, heal up. M maybe you'll feel better during the break and get a couple of days in. Only need to stop him in the middle. Uh, he should reach all four. Uh, that's because of your walls. Um... I've known on the community server flying that even without any obstructions or anything, he seems to only be able to reach three. So, I don't know. We can test it here and knock out these posts. I think I can get that one from back here. Yeah, I got it. Okay, good. So that still doesn't look too bad, I guess. I, I like it with the post a little bit better, but I guess it's a little more open without them, right? Uh, I'm going to temporarily rip up some of this carpet here. Uh, it's going to cause problem with the boots and things like that. So uh, at least just to test it, uh, we can paddle that guy over here because that's, that's always something funny to watch too, right? So... But we're also going to have to make sure that we have the proper conversion materials with us before we even get into that. So, And we'll decorate the outside of this and make clean this up, make it look a little bit better. Uh, one of the other things I'm thinking of doing is having a separate minecart. Um, I will change this over a little bit, have cod here, have the squid ink here. 
uh, and have cod here and squid ink there and redistribute those a little bit so I can run a track here along the tops of these barrels and uh, keep this stocked with the cod. Uh, can I get, can I parkour over here? Probably not, right? But you guys can see up here I have some track with some hoppers over each one. And so uh, I could just have the uh, minecart up here running the circuit, coming over here to this one, collecting here, run the circuit, collect there, run the circuit, collect there. I, I can do that kind of a thing, right? And it would fill up the uh, barrels with the cod here and um, then keep these barrels, uh, uh, prevent them from clogging up, right? So that's the idea. And it's it would just be a matter of, you know, just every now and then coming over here and um, uh, doing the trade and then bringing the emeralds down to the hall. So, And Villager claims he got him to hit all four. Uh, that's great. So I'm thinking if I park him right about here, he, he should be able to hit all four of these guys. I, I agree with you. So so we'll, we'll try that out. So we'll bring our extra dude over from the... Um, uh, Trident uh, gas farm, and we'll park him right here. Um, one of the drawbacks to that, though, is once he's aggroed on me, it's hard for him to see the other villagers. Uh, he won't focus on them, and he definitely will be aggroed on me. <laughs> uh, uh, just just paddling over here, uh, paddling him over here on the boat. Uh, so maybe it'll be one of those things where. I, I park him here, and then I run out, and maybe if the chunk unloads, uh, he'll no longer be aggroed on me or something, and maybe he'll get these guys. But uh, we are going to need uh, maybe two splash potions would be enough if I drop one right there and right there. Maybe it'll get all four, uh, but I'm going to get four just in case. Just in case uh, these these two outer ones, one or two of these outer ones won't get hit uh, sufficiently. And then we're going to need uh, four golden apples so we can do that. And I was just about to hit my rockets and fly on over there. And I remembered, wrong server. <laughs> we do not have rockets on this server. Oh, uh, let see. We do have some emeralds to bring back to the uh, trading hall so we can do that. He just has to not have a way to pathfind to yeah yeah okay and then once he's fixated on the villagers he should be all right eh what happened to my gate okay well i can do that <laughs> so <laughs> My gate is gone. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is good horse music. It's got that galloping kind of gait to it. It's not good as a not as good uh, horse music as a Steve Harris bass line, but uh, it's not bad. It's just the way he's bobbing his head. It's almost at the same tempo. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, do we have a post up here? I think we do. Yeah, yeah, we could do this. Uh, do not suffocate into the cherry tree or, or anything, please. Just just be good, all right? You know, for your sake, no, not mine. All right. Let's get over here. We'll get the necessary uh, potions and, and whatnot. All right, so back to a ye old trading hall. By the way, Greener, I hope you're joining me and having a chuckle over our um, uh, <laughs> our emerald innovation here on season five of the season five server. Because what Greener and I have just done on the community server makes this look ridiculous. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, I, I have four splash potions. That might be enough. Uh, one, I mean, three splash potions. One, two, three, one, like this. Um, splash potions, a weakness. Uh, do I have any more? No, I'll, I'll have to brew some more up. But maybe this will be enough. If I aim this just right, it, it may be enough. But you know what? I, I think I had better get that extra splash potion because if I if I'm not able to convert him, that would be really bad. <laughs> well, I bit the bullet and just ordered a mattress. Hopefully it doesn't suck. Villager getting set up at his new place. That is so, like, <laughs> mid-20s. You're reminding me of my Thunderhand mid-20s. <laughs> They're flying Villager. All right, uh, probably momentarily back to the pub to brew up some potions of weakness. I think I have everything there to do so. Uh, oh, you know what? I think the clerics might have that stuff in one of their barrels. Uh, they might have that here in the trading hall. Let's check it. Back here. Again, for your own safety, Ed Whistle. For your own safety. I'm sleeping on the floor of the living room of my parents' house. I wish it was my house. Yeah, see, that's that's a uh, that's a twenties thing. I might have the stuff to. That's where you guys are stashing all the anvils. See, I made little chests under here to put replacement anvils. I guess that's not obvious. I mean, it is kind of hidden here, right? I mean. Uh, all right, clerics, clerics. Do any of you have. A What's that doing there? Have any brewery stuff here? I don't think that you do. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Of course, I don't have these things memorized. I always have to look at the chart for this. Here we go. The chat. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Open it up. Do the thing. There it is. The Mighty Shot Mountain! How you doing, Shot? Oh, Shot, uh, even though I'm on the Season 5 server right now for the stream, on the community server, I have to ask you to make a s if I can make a slight modification to the uh, trade hall. I need to put a room off to one of the sides uh, towards the front. And um, I know you want to preserve the way that the front looks. You want to make it look like a hobbit hole and stuff. And I can do so uh, and preserve that front. I was thinking of just moving it uh, forward about maybe three or four blocks. Just enough so we can have a side entrance off to a room there. Because I got a special little modification for the trading hall I think you're going to really like. And that flying villager, at least I'm not the only one. I feel like I shouldn't still be living with them. Flying, you, you do what you got to do, man. You do what you got to do, especially nowadays. God, I feel so bad for young people nowadays.
especially being judged by boomer standards. Oh my God. Yeah, it's a different economy. It's a whole different world now. Um, let me see. Splash potion of weakness, right? That's it's down here. I think it's just it's just this, right? Yeah, we don't need potion of weakness plus. We just need a splash potion, right? So it's just the fermented spider eye and the water, I think. And then you add gunpowder to make it splash. And I think that's why we have these ingredients right here. All right, so let's do that. No, no water bottles. Fuck. But you know what we can do? We can do this. We can do this. The cool thing about water bottles is you don't need a source block for that. You can fill them from a water stream like right over here in this bubble veta. There, done and done. Hey Thunder, I got a joke for you. What did the cloud put on after taking a shower? So I'm thinking something robe. Something lining. I give. <laughs> what do you got, Pleasant Player? Lay it on us. I promise you won't be banned. A smile. <laughs> His thunderpants stopped. Okay. I promised you wouldn't be banned. You still won't be banned. Of course you won't. Uh, how could I ban that? <laughs> uh, and let's brew up a bunch of these while we're at it, right? There we go. That's not the first time I've heard that. Uh, uh, not with the not used in the shower joke kind of way, but yeah. But I like it. All right, so we can do that. And we'll we'll brew up a, a number of these to replace the ones that we've used. <laughs> Pleasant player. Now, Pleasant, you streamed a little bit earlier today, right? I thought I saw that when I was driving Kachi. Uh, over to his um, uh, dropping him off at school this morning. Yes, I was playing on uh, the world SMP. Oh, you were Minecrafting, and I missed that. I ended one minute before you went live. Really? Ugh. Oh, good. We have a multiple of three. That always works out nicely. I'm going to have to catch your VOD for that. So World SMP, so what country are you representing this time around? If you don't mind me asking. Because it's been a while since I've seen uh, you stream that. So a Friday before uh, Kachi's... Um, early release today and uh spring break so it's it's pretty busy here in the thunderhead <laughs> household <laughs> uh, i've been spending quite a quite a few t uh hours on the road this morning 
running around doing our errands, prepping for the weekend. And let me see, uh, is this the last batch? No, we've got one more after this. You know, one thing I should get back into doing, but I don't, I don't know here in Southern California. Uh, when I was in New Hampshire, I used to do a little bit of home brewing in the uh, back in the 90s. Uh, and I used to make my own batches of ale and stuff. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Like my great grandfather used to, <laughs> but not on the same scale he used to. <laughs> uh, let's do this let's load our goodies back into the chest I think we should be good here and we'll stock the extra bottles back over here uh, just for others to use because that's the way we do it at Buffooncraft mindfulness of others Uh, the other reason why I don't do the ho I haven't been so inclined to do the home brewing thing here in California is I, I feel like I'm the only one who drinks ale here. <laughs> and so, you know, there, there would be enough for me, but, uh, you know, I seldom drink enough nowadays to really credit making a whole batch of, of ale. And when you fresh brew stuff like that, it doesn't have preservatives in it. So you do have to drink it. You know, you have to get right on to drinking it. You you can't preserve it for very long. Uh, you, you can for a little while, but and the mighty Lone Star eighty two. How are you doing, Lone? Have you ever watched an old TV show called Dinosaurs with Earl Sinclair? Yes, I remember seeing that. In fact, uh, the baby dinosaur was always the uh, always the one with the punchline, right? That's the one I'm thinking of. Uh, and I think that might have been a Jim Henson uh, production, right? Can I do the sleeping thing? Yes, I can. Mighty Lone Star, how are you? I am doing excellent, sir. I am doing excellent. Playing with villagers and, and drowns and stuff. Always a good time. S you know, frequently exasperating, but always funny. Villagers, indeed. Did I not see you log on somehow? Oh, who knows? <laughs> I didn't see me log on, so it's possible. <laughs> what has happened to my geet? No, don't chop it with a fish. <laughs> with a hatchet. There we go. Uh, let me see. Yes, not the mama. One of my favorite shows. <laughs> It's just so good. Yeah, that show had some good dialogue in it. That was that was actually a, a quite a popular show at its time. Lone Star, why did you say the 82 pot? <laughs> Let's see. 
Okay, I, I think we're ready to go here, right? Do I have any spare shulkers? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got plenty, <laughs> of course. Um, let's do that. Let's do that. I think I'll be okay. I am sufficiently armored, so I should be fine there. Um, let's do this. All right, let's head on over and let's boat our friend over here. Uh, if we're going to boat our friend. He's already in a boat, so we should be okay. We should be okay. We shouldn't need any extra boats. So we'll bring him over at least and, and try this out. And then I'll, I'll have to make the decision whether or not I'm going to use him over there or I'm going to set up. A, uh, a dedicated trident chucking drown over there just for those guys. I'm thinking the latter is what I'm going to go with, but just because it's funnier. <laughs> well, Thunder, I must head out now. I hope you have a great rest of your stream. I definitely will. And a pleasant Easter weekend. See you later. A pleasant, always good to have you drop in, sir. Please rest up and get well, okay? And try to salvage whatever you can from your spring break. Spring break is oh so important to students. <laughs> All right, let's try. Now, now, let's do this. Ow. Ow. <laughs> now, see, I'm only comically saying ow. He's actually not able to hit me at all because of our hitboxes. So, again, keep you guys uh, the third person of what's happening there. See, he's trying to hit me with the, with the tridents, but our hitboxes are so close together. Even though he's throwing them, he's not able to hit me. That's that's so cool. I originally found this out when I was transporting pillagers, um, a pillager over to the iron farm. I noticed when I had him in the boot, he couldn't. Uh, he was just firing away, but I wasn't. None of the arrows were striking home, and so I was able to transport him all the way from the ocean, all the way across the ocean, all the way to the iron farm. Um, mocking him the entire way as uh, w with complete futility he shot every arrow that he had. <laughs> and you know what's cool about that is um, uh, when you want to neutralize those guys uh, to use in a farm, you want to break their crossbow. So they keep firing. They keep, that's It also breaks their crossbow, right? Because it was such a long trip. So by the time I got up to the farm, the crossbow bow was already broken. I had not a scratch on me. All set to go. And then I thought to myself, well, if that works with the pillagers, I wonder if it works with the drowns. And lo and behold, it does. <laughs> Flying villager. Speaking of raid farms, did you hear they're breaking them in the next update? Yeah. Both Greener and I are more than a little disappointed with that, but we think we can modify the raid farm that we built on the community server. We think we can make some modifications to that, and we might still be able to use it. Uh, if not, we'll just rebuild it. Uh, because I'm sure, uh, as, as Greener and I were saying to each other yesterday, I'm sure Ray's works or, or somebody's going to have uh, a farm, a raid farm, uh, that's going to uh, be able to deal with those with those updates. So... 
Right now, we're thinking we're going to have the bad omen potion. Well, it's not a potion, uh, but the bottle of bad omen in one hand w and striking with the other. Uh, so it might be one of those kinds of things and maybe some sort of dispenser that drops them. Since it's not a potion, technically, you wouldn't be able to make it into a splash potion and just have a dispenser just douse you with it, which would be the best thing. So I'm thinking if I go around back, I might... I might be able to block his pathing. We'll see. So I think if I park him out right about here, I should be good. Now see, oh, there he goes. I hear the sounds of money being made the hard way. <laughs> I gotta say, this is this is so cool. <laughs> Who's he throwing at next? Did he kill that guy? I hope not. Okay, no. Now he's only got that one guy back there in the corner. There he goes. Is this all of them? Yeah. Mission accomplished. <laughs> well done. Well done. Okay, so uh, we have proofed out that he can reach all of them if you just park him in the middle. So that's good. Uh, the big thing is going to be if you can make the new potions into splashes or some timed dispensing thing. Yeah, you can't because they're not potions. Uh, it's still early in development, so people might complain enough to get Mo Yang to make it act like a normal potion. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it has. it's not <laughs> etched in stone. But there might also be uh, some people complaining that that raid farm is just too overpowered. Because that thing is so OP. Oh my god. Oh my god, that raid farm, raid farm uh, cranks. It's absolutely absurd. Could you imagine doing a drive-by raid potion on some... <laughs> Someone in a village. <laughs> yeah. uh. Boating across the nether. <laughs> and look at the trail of... impotent tridents we've left behind us. Look at that. This drowns. A, a trail of this drowns hopes and dreams. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> That's what I call a trail of futility right there. <laughs> oh, God. you got to love this game sometimes. I mean... <laughs> Surprise raid and fly off. Yep. Just passing through. Oh, figured I'd drop off some of my friends. <laughs> I mean, that would be a good clip. You know how you were talking about making videos in uh, Blender, Minecraft videos in Blender? That would be a good one. Like having the villagers peacefully going about their business, and then they hear the sounds of rockets, and they're like, oh, no. 
<laughs> and sure enough, everybody's running. That would be great. See the children running for the vill Oh, yeah, we got to deal with that guy. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I gotta line this up just right. I think that does it. Like right about there. Ow, ow. That's not what I wanted to do. But I think I have, because I don't have any dirt blocks on me to, uh, and I don't think I have any blocks at all, really. No, I don't, do I? I usually keep a chest of goodies here so I can work on that. You know, that'll be fine now, for now. Um, yeah, we got to be careful not to hit our friend up there. <laughs> hey there, buddy. <laughs> How are you enjoying your little ride there? <laughs> and, of course, all his pals are right up there. <laughs> Oh, you know what I could do? I could borrow this scaffolding for a moment. Well, I didn't need the whole thing. There, like that. And then I can go like that. And then I can go like that. Okay. Of course, Shut Mountain, our OSHA safety manager. See? <laughs> Shut Mountain, do you approve? <laughs> All right, now we can get back over here. We can cure these guys because uh, they're zombified. And, uh, yeah, that's not good for them. <laughs> that sounds horrifying. Imagine doing that to someone in a trading hall. <laughs> uh, that would be a good YouTube short, though, right? So Kachi and I have also been thinking about uh, doing Minecraft Blender uh, videos. Uh, Kachi is actually very, very good with Blender. I'm, I'm pretty good with it myself. And I was thinking, you know, I, I was looking at the Minecraft videos and I was, I was trying to imagine how they do those but uh now i know how they you can import a minecraft world or just certain chunks of a minecraft world into blender so you don't have to recreate it that way um so yeah i know how they do that now although i haven't tried it yet Uh, let's let's just let's just do this for right now, just to make things go a little easier. Do that, and we do that, and 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 uh, we need to eat. A man's got to eat, you know. Done and done. Let's do that. Let's do this. I'm definitely not using a Minecraft model for the characters. Everyone should have their own avatar based on the Minecraft skin and their IRL person if applicable. All right. Let's see if that gets all four of them. It might. It should. Very nice. Uh, I forgot, though, that I need you guys. See, this is this is why backseat gaming is allowed, you guys. <laughs> you should have said, Thunder, you need eight apples, not four. <laughs> um, I might have some in my inventory, but in, in my uh, food shulker, but I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, I can go right over here to the trading hall, though. It's faster to go this way, I think. 
through the nether. If I could just remember what end it's on. Uh, it's not that end. <laughs> uh, let me think. The trading hall is west of spawn, so it's probably this way, right? Trading hall, skulk farm. Here we are. Sense of direction, because I'm a man. <laughs> I was gaming for myself. Yeah, what did I do with the rest of the golden apples? I wonder how long that potion of weakness effect lasts. <laughs> I hope it's long enough for me to... Fix my mistake. Oh, I'm going to use that a little later to fix my little corral. Of course, I, I have two more splash potions just in case uh, the potion of weakness wears off. Uh, we can always just redo it. Where is the ladder? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, here we go. Again, uh, I it might have been better, at least aesthetically, to put the trading area in front of the gas farm but again this isn't my build this is shut mountain and nebula's build and so i figured all right well before we get too much into this let yeah see i don't think they they have the effect all right so let's let's hit them with this again because i didn't see the particles that's better. Okay. And we'll put that in there. And uh, let me see. Let's let's re-equip here with this. Uh, with this. A little bit more of the food. Oh, we'll do that for right now. Uh, that's going to help us out a little bit later. You know, this turned out to be so much easier than I thought uh, that I might not uh, dedicate or drown just for this guy. That was very, very easy to do. So, again, I don't expect everybody to try that, but I think those... Oh, Cyclopsalops is alive. Oh, cool. We can raid him after. Um, I think those who would be interested in... Um, the cod trade and and converting these guys over i think that would be certainly easy enough for any of them to do uh so those of who are not confident in doing that um could just ask us to do it we'll take care of it uh it, and not convert them for them it doesn't work that way what i mean is just stock uh the barrels full of emeralds just come by here every now and then and just stock them full of emeralds or just bring them to the trading hall Right, which is what uh, Greener and I will probably do for the community server. We'll just run the farm, and that way people don't have to run the farm. Because that uh, stacked raid farm, that's very, very particular about in, in how it needs to be run. Uh, that's a tricky farm. And so... <laughs> Catherine Ellery. Catherine, how are you doing? Yo, long time no see. What's up? Hey there, how you doing? Welcome in. So uh, what I'm thinking is uh, I'll wait for these guys to convert a little bit longer. Uh, we will go uh, AFK a little bit and uh, drum up some cod here. 
But that Guardian farm is so overpowered, you really don't. You know, if I prepped for the stream a little bit better, I should have AFK AFK'd before the stream. Uh, one of the things we can do, though, while we're waiting, it would be quite easy to switch these over. Um, we could do that, certainly. So let's do this. Squid ink, anyone? That's pretty good, right? Let's do this. I think I'm okay here. I'll just have to change the filters up top, which is a, l a little risky. <laughs> that system is so delicate. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna do that. And then that. Uh, and again, uh, the reason why I'm switching these over is I, I intend eventually to make a rail that will uh, park here, draw off the cod, run across the top here, and uh, fill these chests, redistribute the cod, and bring it over here, and fill these barrels. They're not chests, they're barrels, up here with cod, so uh, folks can just take the cod down there and then trade it and get their emeralds. Uh, these I hope to keep stocked with e emeralds if I can. Or I'll just bring the emeralds over to the trading hall. I can just do that. All right, these guys are almost there. Um, let us set up some scaffolding. Actually, I think I can reach the scaffolding from here. The uh, item filters. Yeah, these are actually pretty easy to do. Uh, I do need a scaffolding, though. Uh, the thing is, though, with those mine carts, you have to be so, so flippin' careful with those things uh, because they dislodge extremely easily and then they are no fun at all to set back into the proper position. No fun at all. So, yeah, you really don't want to mess with these if, if it's not absolutely necessary. Uh, yeah, we need, oh, we're going to need about 41 pieces of cod, and we don't have that, do we? Uh, we can set this one up. Uh, that's too close. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Again, you want to stay away from these things. <laughs> You want to be super careful, super, super precise. Oh, you know what? Once we do that, we'll have enough for the other one. Nice. All right, that should. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Because of this system, it's 24 because it's Hopper Minecraft. Got it. Not 41. And then if I go up to this one. Careful. I can pull. Uh, 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 no, no thunder. Placeholder, good. Okay, we're good there. This one goes to 25. Why is there one not loaded above that? Or. Careful. Very, very careful. All right, so we have the other 20 in there. I think we're okay here. I think we're okay. 
All right, so that filtration should be all set up now. So we should get cod in here and here, and the squid ink should be on, on the west side now. Instead of going north to south, I go east to west now, so I can pull off the cod here, distribute it there a little bit easier. And again, you know, I could have pulled up the cod off of these two and had the circuit come around, but just having the loop is a little just, it, it's more satisfying, right? It can pull the cod off of here, bring it down the loop, cross over to here, cross these guys, and then uh, it should be empty. And then it should pull the cod off of here and then go back and return, right? And it should just complete that U-shape all the way around. Um, so doing this kind of thing, right, where it pulls off of here, it'll go across there, across there, park over there, pick up its cod, come over here. That way it's empty, comes back over here, and it'll just keep doing that, right? So that's that's my plan anyway. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, ready to go for a birthday party. Well, if it's your birthday party, happy birthday. If it's your friend's happy birthday uh, party, happy birthday to them. We just had Mrs. Thunderhand's birthday on uh, Wednesday. That was the first birthday we have ever done for her without my older son, Biggie Cheese, being here because he's at university. So he had to join us remotely. I found a monument with two sponge rooms. Sponge! You know, now, villager, normally that would be somewhat impressive. But Explodin, on stream, found the monument with four sponge rooms. I was there. That's right. <laughs> so all of us now who want to go to uh, get sponges, we're like, oh, hey, a sponge room. Oh, two sponge rooms. <laughs> Explodin went and set the bar for four sponge rooms. It's like, dude, really? <laughs> okay, this should be all set. So let's go generate some cod. How am I doing? 1211. All right. Uh, let me see. We can go set that back in one of these. If there's room. Uh, there's, we have so many shads. Yeah, these are just extra. <laughs> there's, there's no room to put the shards. We have so many. Uh, this farm is just so overpowered. Uh, let me see here. That's what I want to do. A little something like that. And then a little something like that. And a little something like that. Okay, good. All right, and um, we can access the Guardian Farm directly through the Nether. Should be good there. We do not have Elytra, but we do have Soul Speed 3. And uh, I'm not going to spend the entire uh, rest of the stream AFK at the Guardian Farm. I just want to fire it up to uh, generate some cod, and then we could do a little bit of trading. Guardian Farm. That's that's over by Shut Mountain and Nebula's place. So that's over to here. Uh, yeah, so we're working across four servers now. <laughs> Technically four servers. So Generations has been split. Uh, for a long time, that stream, uh, from our survival uh, server and our creative uh, mode test server. And so I kind of have two servers running there. And then uh, then we had BuffoonCraft, the, this, the Season 5 server, that makes three servers. And now we have the BuffoonCraft community servers, that's four servers. So <laughs> you'll have to forgive me sometimes if I 
struggle to recall what server I'm on <laughs> and on which server we have what features and <laughs> sometimes that's a challenge. Of course, one of the other things we can do, too, uh, if there's a little time remaining, and there should be. Uh, Flying Villager, should I go over and check out the build on which you were working here recently? Should I go do that? Should I reveal that on the stream, or would you prefer me to wait? Either way, I'm fine. Um, the interplanetary one, the means of conveyance. The one that involves transportation. <laughs> Is that ready to be shown on stream or should I hold off on that? And again, uh, either way, I don't mind. Oh, that might not be meant to be revealed until later. Gotcha. Okay. Understood. So uh, for those of you who might be wondering what the heck's going on uh, of what we are speaking, uh, you might recall that the Season 5 server, uh, for Season 5 there is... Uh, a significant amount of lore that goes along with this. Uh, there's a storyline and stuff, and so things are revealed according to the progression of the storyline. Look at all of those little one-eyed willies down there. You know, and at noontime, I neglected to switch to standing mode. So I will tell you what. I wouldn't care, but that's more of a Chris thing since uh, it's eventually. Of, of course, of course. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to do a B right back. We'll do a little bit of AFK. Uh, this should generate, e even with just like 10 minutes or so, this should generate a huge amount of COD. And then uh, we can go into the nether and we can uh, trade that up and w we can see the effect of the villager trade, uh, the fisherman trade for the cod. Uh, and I, I only have eight villagers in there. If we need to, uh, we could put more. Right. So. Four sponge rooms. You don't have four sponge rooms in there. Am I going to have to go over there? <laughs> I just found the uh, the fourth one. You did not. Stop. Just stop it. He should be streaming that. Okay, anyways, I'm going to take a quick break while we AFK. You get about 30 per room, and I have almost two stacks of sponges as proof. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exploding, this is the same deal. You know, he... he so, I guess exploding is no longer the singular lord of the sponges. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, for my break, since I'm AFK and I'm, I'm pretty safe here, uh, I'm just going to um, switch off the camera, go take a little break, and I will do a be right back. Of course, it doesn't say be right back on the screen, but you guys will know.
Okay, so we're back. <laughs> I think that's enough um, AFK to, to get a decent amount of COD. Uh, where is the... Here it is. <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, we have 34 minutes left to the stream. That's that's actually quite a bit of time. Uh, we certainly don't need to uh, AFK all that time. Uh, I was about to just... Bye-bye, Grandfather Moon. I'm coming for you, Grandfather Moon. You and I, we're going to have ourselves a bit of a throwdown. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> uh, again, I almost forgot what server I was on, and I was about to leap off with my imagined, presumed Elytra. <laughs> but, you know, uh, we do have the water below us, so we, we'd be fine. Uh, over there, we would be not so fine. Let's do this. Okay. Look at the nebulous chessboard build. That's so cool. Oh, look at all the terraforming she did on that hillside over there too. That that was all she that was a big mountain and it was all stone and everything. She carved out that on the side and then terraform that whole hillside. Good Lord. Queen of the grind right there. All right, let's do this. Let's get back to the nethal. Who's base? This one? This is nebulous. Right, this way. <laughs> Which nether portal am I at on what server? <laughs> Uh, oh, I guess I should restart the music too. Uh, ma, 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 where are we? There we go. Yep. I noticed it was a little quieter than normal, <laughs> but that quiet, that quietude is about to be destroyed. Why, hello there. Hi. Sponge Master. Sponge Master. SpongeBob. Still love this. Probably my favorite feature that they added. Is this the best place to do this, though? I mean... It's debatable. I mean, you could lose some over the sides here. I'll just go find another four Sponge Room Guardian. Oh, for God's sake. You know, a villager, I I have to admit that although this nether hub looks kind of cool, it isn't it isn't the most um <laughs> confidence inducing one that that we've built. <laughs> uh well, it's supposed to have rails and walkways and everything like that. Um but uh if you haven't noticed, somebody's been slacking. Slackers, eh? <laughs> yeah, slackers. So slackers. I still the stuff, and it's one of the projects I need to get working on, but um, maybe I'll work on it next time. I might use that as a break from uh, all the intensive designing that goes into the Eggman base. Yes. Uh, this, like, this part isn't so bad here, but uh, this stuff along the sides here is a little... Kind of not meant to be used. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, um, that's going to be, like, broken up pathways eventually. Yeah, okay. There we go. Let's see if we can't get that correct. So, yeah. I'm going to see what, um, see what you're up to. So, yeah, nothing better to do but be nosy. <laughs> that's why it's an SMP. <laughs> yes. All right. So, we, we should be, we should have enough card here to do a couple of trades. Left Kai in the wilderness. 
I'm, I'm not to go get clay even and, the uh, slightest bit surprised. Why do I have no cod at all? We should have gotten no tons of cod. You have 20 cod. No, that's that's what I started with. What happened? Uh, well, I probably had something to do with it, given I was in a monument while you were AFK. Maybe, yeah. Okay, the hopper minecarts. Picking anything up. Oh, the up? hopper minecarts are full. That's why. <laughs> they're, they're full of cod. Naturally. All right. Hmm. They should be. Why aren't they dropping things though? Yeah, they that's. Should be dropping some of it. Right. That that's what I'm wondering. L let me stop them so I can uh, clear them. I think your other chests might be full. They are. Prismarine shards. They're completely clogged with the shards, so the cod was not able to get through. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that with the overflow. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna need an overflow for, for all of the items on this. Sounds like a problem for auto crafters. Certainly does, yeah. See now it's distributing like it should. But we have enough to do the trade. Good. So let's start with you, sir. Uh, let me see. So he's down to only nine. Nine. Yeah, they're they're down to nine. Now, I believe if I convert them again, it'll be even lower than nine, right? Yes. For now. Right. So we should do some rounds of trades with them at nine anyway. I, I think... I think... Uh, they lock out a little quicker too after you've converted them. By the way, you might want to adjust your noise gate because we can hear everything in your, your place right now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. Uh, let me see. We've got that. But this is going to be a super powered trade. Oh, yeah. Well, it should be a good replacement for raid farms, at least, especially if you put the trading hole next to it. Well... No. <laughs> it's if it's, they don't work, we'll take. Oh, I got it. Hold on, I got to do a thing. Just don't walk over here for a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I I I only say no because the raid farm is just so ridiculously overpowered. It is true. Yeah, very, this this could never even come power. close to not even a significant fraction. Well, I'm saying if they remove the raid farm entirely, you're going to look for substitutes like this. Yeah, you know, this along with, with other the raid farms. with other things we'll have to do, right? So, uh, let, let me get some, uh, we, we can fry these. Uh, where are my, where's my flint and steel? This looks like a job for flint and steel, you know? Oh, I'm crafting this stuff. Really? Yes. I'm, I'm just throwing it on the ground for the moment so I have inventory to craft stuff. Oh, okay. Well, if you're going to use it, yeah. Okay. Too much of the shards. There we go. All right. So I, the crystals. I'm definitely going to need to put uh, some sort of overflow on this. And I'm wondering, and I think I can. I think I can do here what I just did over at the raid farm on the community server, where I can just have okay. the hoppers just going right into a... Oh, uh, let me think. 
Well, the problem is they're going back and forth. Uh, and that's not good. That's not good for an overflow. Good Sorry. I was adjusting my microphone. Talk over you. Yeah, so where there's where I have two going back and forth like that, that's not good for an overflow system. So what I think is I can set this up in a U shape with only one minecart because this keeps up fast enough. And yeah, it'll drop off over here whatever it doesn't distribute there. Yeah, I could do that. Which means shutting these off. I think that'll work better. By the way, I have more shards here in my own inventory that I've picked up. Do you want these? Oh, uh, I mean, you can throw them in the pile. Those I'm going to pick up, I just craft everything. There we go. Oh, I guess I'm down to just crystals. Well, I just dropped a bunch of shards there, right? So... Yes, it just that. Okay, um, so this is of what I am thinking. Gonna need some rails now. I wonder if I have enough stuff up here. I think I do because I ha I should have my uh, tech kit on me here. Let's do this. There we go. Finally got through all of it. Dang, I don't have any regular rails, though. Um, and those be what I need. Chest up. Oh, Let me see what I have here for spare parts. That's my basic. Like some more. Why do I want these clogging my inventory? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to... I'm trying to do redstone, dude. <laughs> No, more sea lanterns. That's all you need. No. That's all you need. <laughs> yeah, you know, as far as being helpful, I have to say. <laughs> I'm really good at it, aren't I? Not so much so. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to go back and get some rails, I think. Any rails? Yeah, do you have any on you? Uh, I always have a bunch of Yeah, I don't need a lot. Uh, I just need a couple of the regular rails. Yeah, I should have plenty. Uh, let me just get a space in my inventory. Uh, let me see. Let's let's grab some uh, scaffolding while we're at it. Yeah, there's some rails in there. Take what you need. Thank you, sir. I, I probably only gonna need two, uh, but we'll we'll see. So let's set up this. The first part of this. Uh, let me see. So we'll do that. Let's back up here, get ourselves a little bit of working room here. I just hope I don't dislodge any of those uh, Hopper minecart filters because <laughs> that would. Yeah, they're not fun to set up. <laughs> that would really suck. <laughs> um. Uh, can I very carefully all right now now thunder careful now you can do this one there yeah there we go okay so if I do that okay and let's let's track this now. Now we should only need one of these. I don't like that. Okay. 
So that this is what I'm thinking here. It just does a circuit like this. And then I'm thinking, I, I put the overflow here uh, under this. So when it comes around here, whatever is remaining in there, it'll just dump it here. Um, the problem is you want it to do that after you've filled chests up, right? After I've what? Otherwise, you just want to do that after you've filled the chests up, right? Yeah. So you'd want to set a switch... Or an AND gate, I guess, that would toggle that. Yes, there is items in the chest in the hopper, as well as their their the chests are full, right? Yeah. So, so comparator. Open it up so that yeah, you take a comparator output from the chest, and then you'd have one of the little things that uh, like the stopping stations to unload the minecart. So it's not like only dropping two items every time. It stops entirely. Right. Dumps all the items. Right. So I'm thinking. But I'm thinking it, it, we might be able to do it simpler than that. Well, I don't know. Enlighten me, man. Uh, we could... Uh, let me think. I'm trying to think if I can do it without doing that. But I'm, I think I'm overlooking something. Uh, for example, yeah, but then it will empty stuff out while it's filling the chest. So we don't want that. See, I, I'm thinking when it grabs stuff under here, will it have enough time to pull everything out? Because these Harper Minecart filters are really fast. And so I'm, th I'm thinking by the time it gets to here, it should be empty. And on on either side, or at least one side, it should be empty. And if it isn't empty, that means that those chests are full. Right? Do you, do you be careful with that proper mind card. <laughs> I mean, it, it will probably keep up okay. I mean, yeah, technically, I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, we, we, we compare it around there to read it and when the chests are full and everything. But I'm thinking it might be a little simpler, right? We might be able to get away with just... I just worry about you losing rates on the farm when you actually want it to make that much out. Yeah, because I, I it, it probably would wind up uh, incinerating some drops even though the chests aren't full, right? Yeah, that that's my concern, right? Is so that you have a, a guaranteed like everything is empty before you try and dump everything. Yeah, so we have the current comparator right now is uh, running off the filter but not off the chest. So... Right. So you're thinking a comparator off of each slice on a circuit that runs back to here? Um, that would be it really complicated. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. There's, there's got to be a easy. I, I get that. It's just there. There has to be a way that you could calculate that. Or, uh, no, because. No, you could do it. Never mind, you don't need to do that. So you could take an output from the hopper minecart itself to where if it's full beyond a certain capacity, the minecart has to stop and up. Okay, yeah, so if it's... For example, if we consider where you're standing is the start and this one is the yes. finish, okay. right? If it gets to this point and the hopper minecart is full... Yeah, like said, it's then like a power of... Bleed it off, one? right? Yeah, bleed Empty it off. It. Because even, even if it's... Um, even if it still has items in it and the, uh, the filters weren't able to draw everything off, yeah. um, it's still not going to be full at that point, right? 
Right. So you'd set it, I would set it one notch below full. That way you're not like waiting for it to get, I guess it doesn't matter at that point, does it? Probably not. So, yeah, uh, so we would have to, now do these different items have different redstone output signals in a? No. So everything, the output, the output signal, unless it's something like music discs or whatever, um, so the output signal strength is only determined by how much it can stack. Right. So, so if you have 16 pearls, it'll give off more than 16 dirt blocks. Now, if you have 16 dirt blocks and 16 cod, it makes the same stack. So they're the same power. Right. So each one of these, um, the hopper minecart can hold five times 64, right? Yes. All right. So divide that by 14. Think. 20. Um, the highest strength, redstone strength. Yeah. Well, no, you don't have to do any of that. All you do is just put a redstone block into a parator, and that parator is basically going to look for any box that's full. And it won't let anything else go through until it is. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so that. Parator is comparing the fullness of the box, not necessarily the amount of items in this case. Right. Okay, so I just shut it down. Uh, I did want to throw it on the ground, though. Move this back a little bit so we have a little bit of room to work. Uh, we can also extend this out a little bit uh, so we it's not so close to the darn farm, right? Yeah. Okay, do we need a hopper minecart so we can fill it up and measure it? No, no. So all you're doing is that right there. You're giving it just full power. I think you can do that with a block, but I could be. Right, so it's going to read it's going to read a full power signal, yeah. which would be a which would be a full hopper minecart. Yeah, full right. hopper minecart. And then, then it's going to have to but compare, right? So all you're going to do think is you do this. Do you have another hop mine cart? Yes, I do. Right here. Do you want me to park it right on that? Yeah, just park it on that. So see, that's not going to give an output. It's comparing the fullness. If I fill this up with items, then it'll give a full output. Right. If we run now um, some... Just so we can measure, if we ran a trail of redstone out here, Right. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's nine, your full mine ten, cart. 11, 12, 13, 14. All right. So you so fill. half a stack. That's going to reduce it by one power level. Right. Like I said, though, we're, we're only measuring if it's actually full to bleed off all the items right. and hold the mine cart. Yeah, I'd need repeaters for that, now that I think of it. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look here. Yeah, so this whole thing is full. Yeah. Alright, and so... Are we getting a strong enough signal off the end of that? Yeah. That's more than 14. That's like 15. Well, the the redstone is what's powering the block. The, the power is traveling that far, but if you went one more, it wouldn't power the redstone beam. Yeah, so one more should be the limit. Yes. 
see you don't have any power going to Yep, that's good. So anyway, you don't you don't need any of that because what you're doing is you're actually subtracting fourteen or thirteen from that. So it's if I take one item out of this, if I literally take one item out of that, it's not gonna let any power. Right. And so what you want it to do is then once it has you know, once you've gotten an output, because you're just taking an output you don't even need the redstone. Yep. You would take a uh, take that output and then you would use it to Now, how could we bleed this out? Like with a dropper or something or yeah, just you put you put another minecart like thing below it that'll pull all the items out and then we'll put like four droppers. So the minecart below this minecart will be on four hoppers pulling in droppers and we'll just be powering those droppers as fast as possible to destroy the item. Should do it, right? I mean, that way we yeah. won't we won't actually have to have it stop to be red, right? Item by item, right? It could just roll yeah. right over it. It'll just pull it right through, right? Yeah. Should be able to do it, right? We'll go through that block. Okay. To do. So yeah, we're just recreating this right here that we have up there for the filters, right? Kind of. Yeah. Okay, there so it that is. That should hold it. Yep. And then, yeah, you have your items bleed mm -hmm. off, and then once, it, as soon as that empties, you'd want to have a delay on this um, oh, so. until it's empty. That's that that problem you'd run into since you have a full minecart. Um, to bleed off the items, but that'd be it. Um, well, I thought that was the purpose of making it super quick, so it wouldn't really need a delay. It would just grab. Yeah, it still will need some because it still can only pull them out so fast. You need like, like five maybe seconds of delay. Five seconds. Wow. Yeah, because I mean, think about it. You're trying to drain this hopper that fast. Yeah, that's a hundred ticks. Hopper mine. Yeah. Um. Do an etho clock up there. That would do it. Yeah, that would definitely do it. I'm thinking, though, can we make something simpler for that, though? <laughs> I'm sure there is a way. I'm smart enough to figure out how to it simple, though. I mean, the, the, the Heatho Hopper Clock is not complicated. It's just, yeah, I'm just thinking just if we... More bulk. Yeah, I'm just thinking if we could pull a, a cool trick there. We should be able to. Yeah. Um, To get it to pause, right? Um, because this, this is the moment where I, where I try to think, is there something cool we could do with, like, a skulk sensor or, or some block that I don't normally use that I want to use more? <laughs> yeah. Right? It's yeah. like, um, is there some cool trick that we can pull off? Because otherwise, we just slap the... I know how you could do it. I, I forget about skulk blocks. Right, you could do it. So, minecart comes through, you use a calibrated skulk sensor to detect the clicking of the droppers. Now, can... And you just put it right next to this guy so that it stays powered off and closes the gate. As soon as that's done, it'll stop powering it, open the gate, and you're free to go. Uh, so while it's clicking, it's running. And then yes. when it runs out of items, it won't click anymore, so it won't hear that sound. Exactly. Um, we have to be careful, though. Uh, what's the range on it, and will it pick up that clicking from other... It uh, should... You don't have any other click. 
It shouldn't, right? I'm just looking at the farm. It sh there should be no sources of that sound elsewhere. Now, the problem you might run into is if they decide that mine carts and observe or like uh, droppers have the same noise value. Yeah. That's the, but, I'm trying to consider things just like say, that. Listen to note blocks, which I'm pretty sure aren't, and have the note blocks also being powered by that. Note block would be the safest bet, right? Right. I mean that um, that would be the. Do a little wiki. And of course, let me see. Jessica saying, don't mind me, went for a bath. <laughs> While Thunder and, and Flying talk about Redstone for the remaining yep. <laughs> 20 minutes of the stream. Um, yeah, I need this calibrated. Okay, there we go. Redstone, Skulk Sensor, R1. Let's see. Uh, no, hold on. Amethyst shard and a skulk. There are two. Sensor. Oh, I don't. Oh, it's dumb. It's dumb. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't. I need a full comprehensive list, sir. Please. It gives me just a, a a vague list that's like, oh, what what about these types of sounds? Like, no, I want the entire list. Thank you. Oh, we got to be careful with these. Uh... With? <laughs> with the shulker boxes, because we'll have gas yes. spawning on top of them, right? <laughs> so. Yeah, that'll be a bad time. Yep. Not good. Not good at all. Um. There we go. Just keep some light going too. Block changing. That's not helpful. Block activating. Block deactivating. Yeah, because I'm thinking this is an opportunity to use some of those that I haven't used yet. So. Yeah, but a lot of them, a lot of the noises that they're trying to detect are mostly player noises. Right. Um. really can't well no um mm. i mean realistically you could just isolate it with wool oh you got the thing try you're available oh, oh um and just just use a regular skulk sensor right yeah, just use a regular skulk sensor, surround it in wool, and then take the output and run it over to this. So um, the only it. thing that's yeah. going to activate it is the clicking, right? Ideally, yeah. Well, we'll have to try that out on a skulk sensor and see if that will trigger it. Is it just player noises, mob noises, or... Do mechanical. Uh, well, the calibrated one, there's only the activating, the activating, and at that point, we're isolating it from detecting the trap door noise. Yeah, I'd have to go fetch some of those. So, uh, well, I have skulk sensors. I have regular skulk sensors. Nice. Yay! Yay! Uh, so you'd want to detect. Right. So we'd need what a dropper. This noise. And so, we just put a lever on that, right? Uh, well, if the lever will be also activate, it doesn't make noise. The lever makes its own noise? Hold on. Yeah, it does, huh? Yeah, it does. Uh, we could insulate the lever just to test it. <laughs> or you could do that. <laughs> Woolly bits. Oh, that's dumb. 
Yeah, it's not. Um, the dropper is not. Hold on, did that activate it? You know, it's weird because when you drop blocks onto it, that does activate it. Yeah, if, when you drop blocks, it detects that. But I don't know if that would count as is dropping them because they don't actually hit the ground before they get destroyed. Not only that, but then we have to set up a dispenser or a dropper to drop the items so the dispenser can then take them and drop them again. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> okay, I am at the... I am at the end of my stream time, so I'm going yes. to raid out, but I do want to fix this and, and continue this. So I will have to work on this. If you want to work on this together, we could do that. But if you're, you've got other things to do, I, I can resume it, but I don't get to work uh, with the buffoons too often, as often as I would like, especially in the Season 5 server. So, Yeah thing no. <laughs> all right I'm, I'm going to do my outro yeah, and, and my raid over and then I will be back to do this yep in fact if anything we could probably pose for a thumbnail right here that would probably be good <laughs> yes indeed there we are Okay, good enough. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Okay, so uh, there we go. Um, we're going to work on that sorting system a little bit off camera, so maybe we'll get to show that off next time or probably in the discords um, once we work out. Uh, again, you know, we could slap something together that will work and get us by, but... You know, it's buffoon craft. It should be something cool, right? I mean, we have trident uh, 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 chucking drowned ghast farms and all kinds of cool stuff like that. Um, let's do something a little bit cool, right? And let's do something a little bit more innovative with redstone instead of just, you know, hacking something out that will work and get us by, right? So uh, that's that's what Villager and I are trying to do here. That, for me, usually involves doing it wrong about three or four times until it finally dawns on me. Villager, he's quite a bit quicker at that than I am, so uh, he'll help me along with that. Um, okay, let us see. Uh, my good friend and fellow co-streamer, Cyclopsalops, happens to be streaming right now. He's doing Jackbox with his stream team, and so I'm going to hop on over there uh, to bring the raid over to there. So let us do that. All right, so there is the raid message. You can copy and paste that into the chat if you would like to join us. And I always encourage the viewers to come along on the raid with us if you can. And even if you can't stay for the entire stream, just drop in, say hi. And if you feel so inclined, maybe a follow, maybe even some bits or a sub. That would be really, really cool. Let's set up the raid itself. And there we go. The raid is now counting down. Okay, family-friendly viewers, I'd like to advise you guys, give you guys a heads up uh, ahead of time that sometimes there's a little bit mature language in uh, Cyclops Lop's stream, but uh, he's a super cool guy, and especially with his events and stuff, uh, is a lot, a lot of fun. And I've done a couple of co-streams with him in the past. Uh, uh, Pleasant Player is a mutual friend of ours. So, uh, you know, a super, super cool guy. So... Let us raid out to him. That's counting down now. Good. Uh, I would like to remind everybody that we do this Buffooncraft stream every Friday from 11 a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and we alternate uh, between the Season 5 server, which we did this Friday today. Uh, next Friday will be on the community um, uh, VIP server. 
Uh, let me see. Our next stream, though, however, will be Sunday, 4 to 6. That will be Kachi time. We'll be doing a Kachi time stream. Uh, and then uh, the Wednesday after the next stream after that will be Wednesday. That'll be from noon to 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That'll be Generations. We should be in the creative mode test world on uh, finishing up the Baby Zombie Rush uh, game and the Redstone involved in that. So that should be really, really cool. All right. Uh, with that being said, let us raid on out to Cyclopsalops now. Uh, it's super cool seeing everybody today. Thank you for joining us and everything. And we'll see you uh, next time. Bye for now. Rating out to Cyclops Ops. Now.